Hello, it's Indy716, and I'm making a video on the red box. You've seen this box a couple times in most of my reviews, uh, in a stack with two other boxes, and in a few reviews, I've used it to like prop up the camera and stuff like that. So, I'm going to show you in this video what is actually inside it. So, in this box, I kept all of my, you could say, extra figures. All these figures, they don't actually have a ship to go in, because all my other figures, they're in their, they're in the sets they came in, and then I'd fit them in where they could. Like, I had a couple other clones. You can see there's two right there. I had a couple other clones, but I put those in the attack shuttle. I just took them out when I did the review. Um, all my droids are here, except the ones that are in, sh in ships and stuff. Um, like the rest of the Mandalorians, there they've got. They're in their scene. All the extra figures from the Hoth battle pack I put in Echo Base. I think that one was a little logical. And. A couple stormtroopers, a few extra ones of those I put on the extended platform of the landing, the little, not the landing craft, but the little black battle pack. <laughs> that, right there, put them over there. And yeah, just did stuff like that. So these are all the figures that don't have anywhere to go. So to start, there is Luke Skywalker. Uh, I pieced him together with from my brother's bin and then he traded it to me uh, and I actually got a cape too he doesn't have he just has a gray gray handle though but it's proper Luke Skywalker nothing different then next we have Anakin Skywalker and this is the Anakin with his little headset there I got sorry I got this from a friend along with the next the next three actually I got from a friend but anyways next is Obi-Wan he has a shiny hilt so does Anakin actually I like this figure a lot this is one of my favorite figures that they have made like one of my favorite versions of Obi-Wan he also has the headset there don't know if you can really see that but next is the apprentice. This is Darth Vader's secret apprentice from Force, sorry, Force Unleashed. And I can't remember his name right now. He's got the same face as the uh, the rebel, the the rebel soldier in Battle of Endor. I know I mentioned made a mention of him in that review. Nothing on the back. You can see his shirt's kind of ripped. Next is Battle Damaged Darth Vader without his headpiece, unfortunately. My friend didn't give me that, I don't know. He didn't have it. But Vader is Battle Damaged. You can see his armor's all ripped, his wires hanging out there. This is a very unique and very cool figure. Next, we have one of the figures from the Slave One, Dengar. We've seen him with his pistol and spare rifle to use. Then a Mandalorian. You want to see more about these guys? Go check out that battle pack review I made. Now another figure from the Slave One, IG-88. They actually now have a remake of him and Dengar in the, sorry I forget the set number, but in the 2011 Super Star Destroyer. I really want to get that. I'm gonna, I've actually started saving already. I'll let you know when I'm close to getting it. Then next you get the exclusive Luke Skywalker from the Visual Dictionary book. I had to get that. It's Lego and it's Star Wars, so... He's got a different face than Luke over there. 
He's kind of happy. This one's also a lot newer because he's got longer hair like that too. But completely unique figure. Then we have two completely regular clone troopers. Just blasters like that. So next is two ARF troopers. And these guys are really cool. You've seen these in the Battle Pack review. I've got two of them. Traded with my brother again. Next you get the two Bomb Squad Troopers with their custom guns. I've done a review on how to build those. Go check that out. Then here is the extra Buzz Droid that I may or may not have gotten with the Droid Tri-Fighter. I can't remember. Then next we have our Battle Droid. Just plain normal Battle Droid with this kind of gun and the turned hand. There's five of them. Then the commander droid. Exactly the same except he's got a yellow body. You can see. Next we have two Magna Guards. And I haven't done a video with these before. And I don't know if they're supposed to have solid red or transparent red studs. Just my friend gave them to me and they had transparent red, so I just kept them like that. Unique capes that they can fit on normal figures, but not as well as the ones the first three have. Odd headpiece. Like if you see, I'm gonna compare it to a figure here. Like just look how tiny that head is. It's a little odd. But very nice staff. Very nice looking arms. Anyways, there's two of those. Then we've got five of the older battle droids. Same initial design, just without turned hand, so they have these guns. There's five of them. Then the pilot droid, which is basically the same as the commander, except he doesn't have a turned hand and his body is blue. So now I just have to get the MTT to have a complete set of red, yellow, and blue. Then there is the rocket droid. I only have one. It's got a gun there. Orange, nice orange pieces. And then he's got a little jetpack there. Next is the last figure from the Slave One. It is the Bespin Guard. His blue hat. His little coat there. We see him in the Slave 1 review, go check that out too. Next is this guy. I think his name is Thiessen. Same as in the Freako Speeder. Because it is from the Freako Speeder. Next is another figure that my friend gave me. Um, Juno Eclipse. She came in the same set as these guys right there. She's got nice, unique torso, uh, blonde hair, that, and interesting, she's got like, her hair, part of her hair printed on, so it's very unique, I haven't, I don't see that very often. She also comes with a black hat, just like his, but I didn't, I didn't, I don't have that. Then next there is four super battle droids. Same as the uh, Hellfire droid review. Same ones, just different colors, the original Republic gunship. Same as just what every set that has a super battle droid, except that none of them have the blaster arms, unfortunately. Next there is a shadow trooper. This is the one that used to be on that the platform I showed you earlier, that Stormtrooper transport, but then I got another Stormtrooper, so I switched him out. Next is the droid from Plo Koon Starfighter. I do not remember his name, but he is brown. It's very nice. It's very unique. Never imagined that they would make a brown droid. Then next is Anakin Skywalker as a kid. No clue where I got him. I can't remember at all. 
but I've had him for a while. So he's very nice. He's got his puffy hair. Then our last figure is you can actually barely see him, it's really shiny. But it is a chrome stormtrooper. He is extremely unique. You can get him off eBay for fairly cheap, like ten bucks for this one figure. Comes with a blaster. You used to be able to get him in like some contest in the States. And then you can see on the inside there it's all white. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um you can see on the inside it's all white. Um his arm right back here. You can kinda see right behind his arm there it's white. And then on the inside of his legs, like that, it's white. Which I find very odd. Oh, and up here, it's white. And his butt is white. So he needs to tan a bit more. But it's very, very nice. You could use his parts to start building a uh, completely chrome... Um... I can't remember the name right now, sorry, but the silver silver protocol droid from the Phantom Menace. So that's it for the red box review. I hope you like this. Soon enough, I hope to be adding two more figures, and they will hopefully be Kiari Mundi and Commander Cody as I get the Genos and Starfighter.